And we are back with semifinal number two here on Friday Night Football number 37, sponsored by Rocket Mortgage. Zan here calling the action with Bugs. We are remote this week, but this is the last week that we'll be remote. We'll be live in Huntsville next week to unveil our brand new studio at the fandom office. We got Saya versus Joke the setting audibles right here, a little gentleman's agreement to decline the penalty. What do you think the key to the game is for both players here, Bugs? For this game, I I think the key to this game for Saya, offensively, he needs to be able to pass the ball effectively. He, he wants to show that he has some consistent offense. Sometimes he can be really inconsistent offensively. He has times where he can just light it up and he just doesn't miss a read. Then he has moments where he's just throwing duck after duck. Um, he's shown that he has some really good run defense, so I'm not really concerned with him on that end. And then Joe typically has great run defense as well. That's the reason why I mentioned that Saya needs to be able to pass the ball because I don't think Joe's going to allow him to just be able to run the ball. And then I think it's the same exact keys for Joe offensively when he gets the ball. He has to be able to pass the ball. Pressure off the left side, and that is a sack. Lawrence Taylor in there on Troy Aikman. That's going to be third down and 18, and you cannot afford – to bleed in the water when it's joke. I mean, he is like a shark defensively. He's one of those players that just adjusts very well, top end adjustments, but he gets stronger as the game goes on. So if he's strong at the start, it could be a long game for you. Honestly, I think that's a great way of describing it. He gets stronger as he goes on because he's great at adjusting. He's one of the best defensive players in the world, and he's going to make those adjustments. And if you allow him to just get it going immediately and just start screaming at you and sending the dogs, it's going to be a long day. One thing that I think works for Saya in this ball game is his willingness to throw RPOs. When, we, when we've seen Joke's defense at its best, it's been typically against the 22 personnel where it's just straight up stretch, dive, stretch, dive. When you start to add the RPO to the mix, it makes you have to think twice about using that outside backer as aggressively as a lot of players like to. Because if you do, that means you have to have a, a defensive back that is either on the outside playing the flat or you have to rotate down the safety, which can open up routes deeper over the middle of the field. So mm -hmm. I'm curious to see, like you said, if, if Saya can get those reads, they're there to be had when you establish the RPO. It just opens up a different element to your game. Yeah, and then one thing I just noticed, like on that huge run that he had, that 19-yard run he had, he's going to have to mix in and stuff like that on downs when Joke isn't expecting it. When Joke is setting up run defense and expecting it, he's not going to run the ball on Joke. But when Joke doesn't expect it, like on that one play, he has the he has those opportunities to just hit, hit a big run. Oh, and he catches a block there. Dalvin Cook to the outside, down the sideline, and he's going to scamper in for the first score of the ball game. So Joke had an opportunity, had him backed up on a third and long, but it has been the run game bouncing big for Saez. as he gets the first score in semifinal number two. That extra point will be up and good. 259 remaining in the first quarter. Saya with the first score. Joke to receive his first possession of the ball game. He will have ball at halftime. Yeah, that's what I would do to start off. From what I'm seeing to start the game, I would pass if I'm Saya, I'll pass when he expects me to when he expects me to run <laughs> and run when he expects me to pass and just see what happens. If you're wondering how these two competitors got to the semifinals tonight, Saya with a victory in the quarterfinals over Electric DC3 by a score of 17-0. He defeated one great user in round number two, 13-7. And Saya beat BG Fam in a high-scoring first-round matchup, 37-34. Joke's path to the semifinals has gone through Big George, 31-14. ADOT, 12-0 and D Croft 17 to three. So jokes defense throughout this entire tournament has only allowed 17 points and Saya gets seven more on his first drive of the ball game. That's an absolutely huge thing for Saya to get this lead. Cause he's also a player that does a fair amount of adjusting on his own. He's, he does a fair amount of adjusting and he all, he also, he plays different defense differently. He, he plays more of the, the Ryan Robert, Ivy Strafen style of defense, where it's always different and gives you different looks and unique styles. That's Bo Jackson down the sideline. Kyle Fuller is just barely going to get him down at the six yard line. First rush of the ball game goes for 65 yards. And it has been the running game as both players gashing big runs through the defense. 
Joke set up with first and goal, just like that. Looks like he's going to come out in the I form H tight. Janu Smith learned that name tonight at the wide receiver spot for Joke. And Rockets in the chat says, let's roll a giveaway. You guys know what to do. Make sure you guys are following the channel, that you guys are uh, being a positive force for good. Don't get yourself timed up, timed out, rather. If you win the giveaway, you can pick up that Joe Thomas or the quartet of most feared players, the Ray Lewis, Cam Newton, Earl Thomas, and Tyler Lockett. You can take home all four of those if you would like as well. So Joe Thomas or the four. I'd recommend taking the four if you guys want the uh, – Big time impact for your team or the training points. Yeah. If you're looking for the training, definitely go with the four. But if if you're looking for a card that you probably won't be able to be able to afford with your own coin, go with the Joe. In my opinion, I think like for me, I'm not going to spend the coin on Joe. So I would go with Joe. But if I'm if I needed the training, then I'm going with the four. So Joke settles for three. Good defense there by Saya inside his own 10. And how big was that Kyle Fuller tackle? Looked like Bo Jackson had the sideline, but the Chicago Bear defensive back tracks him down and saves four points for Saya. Now he's got the ball back. His run attack looked pretty good on his first drive. It looks like we have a winner for our giveaway, Jesse 3YG. Jez 3YG, following since October 4th of 2019, you've won your choice of the Joe Thomas or the four most feared players. Congratulations. Check your whispers. Well, stop and go there from Diggs on that jet touch pass. He picks up a nice gain across midfield to the 47, a joke. And great open field stick by Joke to not give up a touchdown right there. So many guys are giving up a touchdown and, and just going to allow that that Diggs to just go off to the races. Joke did a great job of stopping, getting in front of him, wiggling his stick in order to get himself and make that tackle. That is really the top. I hate that spot right there. That spot where you're directly in front of somebody with your back turned and they are right on you. Because <laughs> if you give up any ground laterally, it's a touchdown. And if you don't stick with their speed and you give up space vertically, it's a touchdown. And joke, I mean, it's such an underrated play. That could have been a touchdown saving tackle right there. I mean, that's so huge. I give up that touchdown 10 out of 10 times. Especially when you're down seven to three. Joke did not score a touchdown. He's down four points right here. And if he gives up a touchdown, it's a two possession game. You see right there, the adjustment for Joke looks like he's going to man up that slot receiver on the RPO to allow him to play such an aggressive up front approach you see right there it looks like Dion playing that safety motion of anger i'm gonna have a trips to the left tight end in line and dalvin cook to the right of the quarterback and that is the hot route master aikman back to the pass Look like Saya might have had a touchdown. If he holds on just a little bit longer, it looked like he had that, that wide post coming across. If he was just waiting a little bit longer, just joke came. Joke was on the outside cornerback and he came down on the drag, underneath drag. So he would have been able to at least get a huge play. I'll tell you what, this cover four defense from Joke playing really well up front. You see right there, everybody following the ball, playing their gaps. He's adjusting well on that. It looks like he's sitting back in that cover four pretty consistently. You watch the corners off coverage on the outside, middle of the field open, look from the safeties. Most likely what he is in. Here's another stretch call. And once again, I mean, you just watch. Everybody stays in their lanes. This is some of the best run defense we've seen, and he's actually not blitzing that aggressively against the run here. Keep an eye on Joke at some point setting Saya up for the hit stick. Because each time Saya hits the edge, he tries to set it up and then spin upfield to try to get the extra yards. Joe clicks on and hit sticks him. You never know. That can end up being a huge fumble. Shallow cross underneath. That's going to be Torrey Holt. And it's going to be a first down. First down to 10 coming up here after that. A lot of adjusting right there. Uh, looked like hybrid coverage from Joke. 
He hits that backside cross. Like, as I watch a huge hit right there, as I watch this, I'm seeing just an absolutely great chess match. I mean, you're seeing Joke is dropping. He's adjusting out of that cover four. It's just not stock. And then you have Saya, who's just playing really safe and taking what's given and trying to kind of do what Rage does, just give him a different look every play, see if Joke, you know, can blow a cover somewhere. And he audibles. That's another thing about Syed. Like I said, he's he's definitely plays more like kind of like R Ryan Robert, where he just likes to audible around random you to death. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> random offense, random plays. She just does a lot of the same things that Strafin does, where he just audibles and audibles and audibles <laughs> until he catches you slipping. Dive RPO bubble right there. He'll pick up the first down. So we hit the two-minute warning. It's 7-3 Saya. Joke with no timeouts remaining. And uh, he's got an opportunity right here to run out the rest of this first half. That is so big right here as uh, Joke, I mean, depending on how he plays this, Joke might not see the ball again here in the first half. Most definitely. If I'm Saya, if I don't feel 100% confident that I can get seven and then get a, a stop, then I'm highly considering running the ball Three straight times. If I don't get a touchdown, then I've bur I've burned all the time, and he, I'm up ten to three at half. She saw right there, huge hit from Vita Vea. Don't know if that's the new most feared item, but uh, if so, that's that's a big, big defensive tackle to move. It'd be hard to get that run game going. I mean, it's been part of Joke's great run defense so far here in this game. There's a touch pass outside, spins back to the inside and digs, picks up a gain of four. That goes as a completion for the quarterback. So when you read it, it's like, oh, he's six of seven, but really that's a run call right there. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a run play. They can't count that one at all. Sia here, he's going to have to wait to snap this ball until under. It has to be 41 seconds at the, at the latest. I mean, at the earliest is when he snaps this ball. Somebody in the chat says, bro, somebody recording this with their Samsung. Uh, you know, we're it, it's an online tournament. These players are broadcasting, and we're recapturing their feed. You know, if one day we get big enough, hopefully with the support of you great fans in the chat, you know, maybe we'll just start flying these guys out every week. Right, Bugs? Yeah. Oh, that'd be amazing. I love the live event atmosphere. I would love to, to be able to be around the guys, hang out with them, and do something like that. But it's going to take – Un <laughs> unbelievable support by you guys in the chat and people like Rocket Mortgage helping to support and grow this thing. And it is Deion Sanders to return this kick as Saya finds himself up by 11. Joke with no timeouts. We'll see how aggressive he wants to play this. Again, one great user in my head right now. I can't say it the way he would say it, but <laughs> you don't win ball games with your first half end of half clock management, but you can certainly lose them right here. A lot of players get aggressive here, feeling the pressure of being down two scores and they try to steal a score before half and only make things worse on themselves. Yeah, most definitely. And but I, I doubt very seriously Joke will mismanage this situation. He's a vet. He's been in these situations plenty of times, and that's this is one of his best skills. Just managing the clock. This is what he does best. That is Khalil Mack with the sack. Moves him back 12 yards. Second down and 22. As Yeah, you can kind of see right now, like, Joke's yeah, going to play it safe. Tough. Strong, tight formation. Don't do anything dumb here and cost yourself the game right now. He's going to run the ball. And no huddle will take us to half with that runoff. So at halftime, I don't think many had this score. 14-3, Saya. And it is Saya to kick off to Joke. So at least Joke has that working for him. He'll need to get on the board here. Mm -hmm. And this is that spot that you and I have talked about every week. That I personally hate that up 10 feeling is, oh, we might have a thumb. Nope, he holds on to it. 
Uh, this 10 point spot is always so weird because I feel like if I give up the score in that spot, it changes how I play my next drive. And I know that that's like a bad thing personally for myself, but I think no Madden player is immune to that feeling. Oh, two score lead. Now I'm down or I'm up less than one score. What do I do? Yeah, most definitely. It, it may get you in a spot where you're pressing a little bit more. So it, for a guy like Saya, he wants to give up no more than a field goal because at that point you're still feeling good. You're feeling like you have complete control over the game and there's nothing to worry about. And then for Joke, you know if he gets seven here, he's going to come out and start playing ultra aggressive. Miss the drag. Pressure right off there. the edge. Oh, and, and he's going to get that intentional grounding. Unable to get out of the pocket and where Phillip Rivers exceeds with the extra hot routes. That mobility can kill you because you can't get out to even throw the ball away without the escape artist, it feels like. I mean, I've heard people say that they feel like they're stuck with Vic without escape artists. So imagine what it feels like with Philip Rivers back there. Oh, man, it's it's a nightmare because you feel like you can't you can't go anywhere. So. For him, you have to be able to get the ball out of your hands fast. You have to make quick reads and just just kind of make things happen quickly. Crossing right over the middle, and that will be Torrey Holt. And, oh, they're going to call him down before that ball came out, so they will give him the forward progress. Third down and six coming up. That animation, I don't know that I've actually ever seen that animation not called down by contact. I don't think I've ever seen it either. I feel like every time it's always been a down by contact. I haven't seen it. Joke is dying right now. Looking good in that tight slots formation. Tight slots halfback weak. With the hot route master, it allows you to throw those posts left to right and right to left. Those are really tough to stop in compression, as you know, Boogs. And that's Bo Jackson. And just like that, joke right back in it. I don't want to say it because I feel like Saya has is playing a better ball game than when we watched BG Fam a couple weeks ago. And I said it just felt like it wasn't in control. But mm -hmm. this... This is a spot that you almost feel like joke down by four. He still feels confident in this spot because this is that that spot where a lot of players go into a shell. Yeah, definitely. And then, like I said, Sai is one of those players that can either be really good offensively one moment or he has his spotty moments where he can just he can throw you one. And so joke, you know, joke's been around long enough. He knows exactly who Sai is. He knows that Sai has the tendency to do things like that sometimes. So he knows that's a possibility. So Joke is feeling really good right now about that drive. He saw some, he's seen some things. I think he's going to kind of stick in that, that tight formation and just move the ball. Oh, and here's an inside zone. Dalvin Cook down the sideline and big gain right away by Saya. That's what he needed is he needed to flip the field at the very minimum with this drive. And now he puts himself in field goal range. So now he's feeling like, okay, I've got a one score lead, you know, in my back pocket. Now I can actually afford to be a little bit conservative, work some clock. And if I bust a touchdown, you know, that's, that's could be a game breaking play for, for Saya. So he kind of slow it down a little bit right here. Yeah, most definitely. You can slow it down. He's just got what seven, eight yards off that play right there. Seven yards. He's really feeling good right now because, like you said, now take some clock with you because Joke is looking like he's going to start moving the ball now. Yeah, Joke had a really easy drive, and that has to be in the back of your mind. Is like, okay, well, uh, seven's in the bag right here. I've got a seventeen ten lead. Is if I don't throw a pick or fumble, you know. But I also see at least two more first downs if i manage the the field position in the game management right that's potentially four minutes a clock in a thousand potentially a game that could get you to our thousand dollar final and knowing that the tendency of the guys that have won the blitz the blitz cash of those guys losing the very next game just from the intensity from the the blitz cast game so that right there should, is something that's in your mind as well, especially the closer you get to sealing up this game right here. Dalvin Cook, that's going to be short. So decision time here for Saya. Man, you got to take your points right here. I mean, there's so much football left. You, you don't want to get into this game with joke this early, in my opinion. 
if this were 127 to go in the ball game, I would be more okay with it because it would be like, okay, well, at least you're still putting it on joke where a field goal doesn't beat you in this last minute 27. Mm -hmm. But right here with all this time left, I don't know. What do you think, Bogues? You taking your three here? I'm definitely taking my three here. But Silas is a very aggressive player. He's a very aggressive player. I take my three here because even Joe gets seven here, then all I have to do is come back down. Joe, even if Joe gets eight here, all I have to do is come back down and get a field goal games over with. It's a 40 second play clock. I could get the ball back and it will be the last drive of the game. So you definitely take your three. But I do know that Silas is a very aggressive player there. Player, so I know he would he would go for it as well. So not joke. After a very easy drive on his last possession, goes back to work. I think you're going to see some tight slots half back week because that formation really gave Sia trouble. We'll see if he pulls it out at any point here on this drive. First and ten from the 38. Holt in motion, right to left. Strong, uh, two tight ends on the field. I got it. appreciate Vaccine everybody chat. hanging out. Yeah, I see a lot of our lot of our uh, regulars in the chat. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us on Friday night football number thirty seven. Says semifinal number two between Saya and Joke Rivers back to pass over the middle. That's going to be John Ross for a short game, third and short coming up. Eskimo potato asked nicely. <laughs> Put your fours up in the chat. Saya, 17, Joke, 10. But Joke, with a big third down and two coming up here from the 46-yard line. Scotty Slugs and Joe Tominski, I appreciate you guys, man. X was good. I got Mutt Guru in the chat. What's going on, Goo? We already know he's got the Joe Thomas, right? Guru, you better add that Joe Thomas. And here's Bo with the big run, 30, 20, 10, 5. And just like that, it's going to be a tie ball game. Bo Jackson to the crib. And just like that joke, I, it's what I said to you earlier. Just, I feel like this is the game joke wanted. Get him, Just be down four and get that stop, hold the three. That's what he did. And now all of a sudden, I, you just feel like it's a moment of time. At Rocket Mortgage. We get that a home is more than a house. It's your escape, your fortress, your arena. So we'll be here when you need us, handling house so you can do home. Rocket Mortgage, official mortgage lender of eSports. So here we go with four minutes and 48 seconds left in the ball game. It's Saya, who's often started to slow down a little bit on that last drive. We'll see if he has a, a four-minute drill in him here or if he tries to play a little bit more aggressive. What's your strategy right here in this spot, Bogues? Obviously, you're a passer, so it might be a little bit different for you. But if you're if you're in Saya's shoes, what's your what's your game plan here? Um take take time. You you know, you want to make sure you're snapping the ball you know, under five seconds or so with the under the play clock. Here, take the big run. Why not? Get yourself in field goal range, stop on them. Now he's at the 40-yard line. Now you're thinking, definitely, let's milk some time. We got 40 seconds. Now you need to wait to about one second before somewhere in that one to three seconds on the play clock range to where you're burning time. So we're talking three first downs is what Saya can really realistically get here to keep this clock moving. You've got the ability to stop the clock three times here if you're Joke. It just seems like Joke is most likely getting the ball back in this game. But if you can keep dialing up second down and two, that will kind of, you know, you go with the fullback dive in this spot. Burks of clock. We're going to have a penalty there. And he goes ahead and declines. A little sportsmanship right there. Uh, you know, give, give it to Saya in the chat right there. Knows that was an accidental encroachment, and he didn't give himself a free first down in this game. I don't know if that was necessarily as much of a 
sportsmanship thing or a thing where you're fourth and two, that's a very manageable spot where you want to be able to burn more time. And you saw right there, joke, he wasn't about to mess around with the four minute drill. He sent everyone and just gave him a touchdown. Do you like that call right there by Joe? I love the call right there by Joe. Play super aggressive. You're either going to get a stop right there or you're going to give up the touchdown and give yourself a chance to come back and return and get a, get a touchdown on your own. I think that the chat, I'm interested, I want to see what the chat thinks on this one because I'm right there with Boogs on that. You're obviously thinking like, wow, Xana Boogs are dummies. Like, why were, why are you okay with giving up a touchdown on that spot? It Second down and two, that's a minute and a half if you want it to be. And if you pick up that two yards over a minute and a half, you get to burn another two minutes off the clock. You're talking about maybe not getting the ball back in that spot. So Joke is just like, okay, whatever, let's play. I'll, I'll play minus seven for the next 409. Let me have the ball and dictate what's going to happen from here on out. Yeah, you see right there the chat. I mean, it's 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 half and half with the chat. I almost expected that. Yeah, I get both sides of the argument right there. I, I love the decision to play aggressive because Joke's been scoring quickly in the second half. Yeah, because he's already in position to score. You know he's going to get points here. So you can either lose the game on this drive or you can win it on that play right there. So you just take the chance. You know you can move the ball on him. And now you go and get your seven. You give him the ball right back. But now he has to go the distance again. Just this time, don't allow him to get into a scoring range. Here's Bo on the outside zone. You see right there, Jokes had a great game with Bo. 10 rushes, 155 yards, and two touchdowns. And guys, the winner of this moves on to the finals. And Prodigy's had an opportunity to take a lot of notes on this game. There's been a lot more snaps in this game than some of our others. Wheel route out of the backfield, just another great route combination. You saw right there a hitch post with a wheel and a flat, that just spacing the field so well and making Saya choose which side he wants to lurk. And it makes his reads very easy for himself. And that's really tough when you run the ball as well as Joke has. If you can be this efficient yet simple offensively, 222 left in the ball game at the 38. Little tight slots Y off formation here. And here's the give up the middle. Great run defense by Saya. That's going to take us to our two minute warning here. All three timeouts remaining for both players in this one. I'm, I get the sneaky feeling that if Joke scores a touchdown with limited time left, he's going for two. I get the feeling that he's going to go for the win. I feel like that too at this point because it's almost like win or bust weekly for him in these tournaments. So, you know, he's also got club series. So, you know, he's he's basically a spot where I think he's going to focus on clubs unless he wins this week. So might as well go for it. Another diving catch in a first down, down to the 20. So enter the red zone. Again, Saya with all three timeouts left. We'll see if... If at all, if he decides to start using these here, thinking about maybe getting a drive back the other way. Where do you fall in that in that debate there, Boogs? Are you the type to start burning your timeouts, or are you of the mindset of I I'm not helping the offense at all? I'm not spot? helping the offense. I'm not helping the offense at all. I'm going to allow them to burn time on their own. Just keep running plays. Let's see if they mismanage this, this clock right here. Because some guys end up putting themselves in situations where they mess up with the runoff. I mean, let's take uh, King, for example, when he, you know, had the runoff on himself. You allow your opponent to kind of mismanage the clock. You don't assist them with, and give them more timeouts. You're in, you're in the driver's seat right now. Just play defense, try to figure them out, and go from there. Big third down and five. Rivers back to pass. Three-man rush. Wheel out of the backfield. That's going to be dropped by Bo Jackson. Might have gotten a hand on it. And the decision right there by Joke to make this the last possession, it's all on this play here, folks. One stop, and Sia goes to the finals. Fourth down and five. Five-man route combo. Over the middle, that's going to be caught for a first down. John Ross down to the three. He, he threaded that the was needle definitely. right there. 
X. I mean, yep. I think that was Brandon King at outside backer. And I think that's the reason we still have this first down and goal, three yard line stretch outside Bo Jackson to the corner. And he's tackled at the one up tempo, nine seconds runoff. That's a hurry up dive. dive. Touchdown. Over two. What game management? Two. What do you do here? Chad? Let's go. This is what we need. This is why they watch Joe go for two. This is this is what the people have been waiting for. Make me sound like I'm smarter than I am. Go for it. He's Prodigy going. gets the winner. This will be the biggest play of the ball game. Two point conversion for the win. Joke. Johnu Smith in motion. Oh, he Stretch doesn't like right. his look. Audible's out. Strong tight coming up. Johnu back in motion across the other side. Saya trying to bait a run right here. Here's the play. Snap. Up the middle. He gets Bo's it. in. Two points. Joke. How about the game management by Joke? Time and time again, he executes in these situations. You always get the feeling that he's in full control of a ball game. And even when he's down two scores, Bugs. This is one of the things that he does well. He does great at just managing the clock, putting himself in great positions right there. And he, he showed it. He did a great job. He risked it for the biscuit. For the biscuit, he went all out on defense, sent the house, gave up a touchdown, but he really gave himself a chance to go down the field and win this game, and he did just that. Unless Prodigy Saya pulls out a miracle. Yeah, I was gonna say Prodigy looking on. We Saya is gonna need a seventy-five yard play here to go to the final spins back to the inside. Ooh. Dalvin. Oh, it looked like he had a lane, but it will be <laughs> choke with the huge victory.